It's time for Big Ticker's trending topics. Yeah, that's trending topics. Find out what's trending now with Big Ticker. Oh, he did not dump me for that. On V103. Time for the 411 and all your favorite folks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, none of these stories bring me any joy. I'm just telling you what had happened was. Russell Simmons is stepping away from his role as Def Jam as new allegations of sexual assault have surfaced. Jenny Lumet, the daughter of director Sidney Lumet, says the music mogul took advantage of her in the early 90s. Offered her a ride to a New York apartment, but once she got in the SUV, he allegedly locked the doors and forced her to come to his house. He adds that once they went inside the home, he tried to impose his will in multiple places, including the elevator and ultimately the bedroom. She says, quote, I made the trade in my mind. I thought just keep him calm and you'll get home. Maybe another person would have thought differently. Simmons maintains he has a different memory of the evening, but acknowledges Jenny's, quote, feelings of fear and intimidation are real. He apologized for being thoughtless and insensitive in some of my relationship over the many decades, adding, this is a time of great transition. The voices of the voiceless, those who have been hurt and shamed, deserve to and need to be heard. As the corridors of power inevitably make way for new generation, I don't want to be a distraction, so I'm removing myself from the businesses that I founded. The companies will now be run by a new and diverse generation of extraordinary executives who are moving the culture and consciousness forward. As for me, I'll step aside and commit myself to continuing my personal growth, spiritual learning, and above all, to listening. Wow, that's amazing. Like, amazing. Meanwhile... More details come out about Matt Lauer's situation. Hours after that, uh, he was terminated. Variety conducted a two-month investigation leading up to that. With dozens of interviews and current and former staffers, according to the women, he once gave a colleague a sex toy as a present, along with a note about how he wanted to use it on her. Also accused of summoning a different female employee to his office and then dropping his pants, exposing himself. He then reportedly had a button under his desk, which allowed him to lock the door from the inside so nobody could walk in on him without him having to get up and walk to the door. Wow. According to the report, this allowed him to welcome female employees and initiate inappropriate contact while knowing no one could walk in on him. Seven women told Variety they complained to the executives at NBC about his behavior, but nothing was done. New York Times said NBC News told his staff that the firing uh, law was 34 hours was was 34 hours after their first inclination that anything had been happening. The network has received at least two more complaints about Lauer. Now, Matt Lauer, for his part, issued a public apology. Said there are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused. Others by words and actions to the people I've hurt, truly sorry. As I'm writing this, I realize the depth and damage and disappointment I've left behind at home and at NBC. Some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized, but there is enough truth in these stories to make me feel embarrassed and ashamed. It's been humbling. I'm blessed to be surrounded by the people I love. Thank them for their patience and grace. My job now... Wait a minute, where'd it go? Ah, he said, my job now is repairing the damage, and that will take a long time and soul searching, and I'm committed to beginning that effort. It's not my full-time job. That is, this is this, this wave is, ooh, crazy. You need more details and details about any of these sad situations, please hit up v-103.com. We'll be taking show right now.